one two one two radio check one two one two radio check one two one two hi guys and uh, welcome to the channel my name is philippe in this video i want to share with you my experience with these retevis uh, radios before I get started, I have to uh, clarify two points. First one is uh, this is an unpaid review. I purchased uh, these radios with my own money. So this review is uh, my uh, humble opinion from just a practical test. The second one is I am located in Canada and I purchased these radios in Canada. Now that is important because the uh, regulations up here in Canada are different than in the uh, US. So if you're a Canadian and you've been doing some research and uh, reading and watching uh, YouTube videos about uh, little portable uh, walkie talkies from the US, they might not be legal here in Canada or you might just not uh, find the same radios up here. So keep in mind that everything I'm going to say applies to the Canadian uh, market and regulations. In Canada, we have three frequency bands that are allocated for the general public to communicate on. All three bands do not require uh, licensed equipment and it, they don't require a license for the operator either. So they're uh, totally uh, free unsupervised use. Uh, the first one is of course CB, the citizen band, which uh, has been around for a long time and is maybe not quite as popular as it used to be. CB's uh, handheld radios can communicate uh, probably uh, within a few miles because uh, they can be up to 4 or 5 watts uh, in power. The antennas usually can be upgraded. But the downside is that CB handheld radios can be fairly bulky and uh, heavy, so they might not be something you want to carry in a day pack or around your belt. The other two frequencies are uh, what's called FRS and GMRS. And this is where there is a difference between Canada and uh, the United States. In Canada, the uh, highest power you can get on these uh, frequency bands is 2 watts. And that depends on the channel. Some channels are limited to 0.5 watts. And the antennas on these radios cannot be uh, replaced. Uh, what comes with the unit is what you get and that's it. So they cannot be upgraded. Now, if you do a search on uh, Amazon, for example, for uh, handheld uh, radios on the FRS or GMRS bands in Canada. Uh, there's a ton of products that come out, but uh, it's very difficult to find out uh, how far you can expect them to uh, be able to transmit and receive. You have to dig in the specs to find out how much power they produce. Even some uh, renowned manufacturers will make claims that are completely uh, unbelievable. Uh, there's a unit that I think retails for over $200 Canadian that claims a range of uh, over uh, 30 miles. That's totally uh, impossible, it's not going to happen. There are, to my knowledge, only two that I found um, that produce the full two watts of transmitting power. One is made by uh, DeWalt, the um, power tool manufacturer. And it's getting good reviews. It's made for construction sites, so it's rugged and uh, can transmit up to over uh, 20 floors in a construction uh, building. And the second one is these uh, Retevis radios, which are very similar to the DeWalt. Two watts of uh, transmission power, uh, very rugged, waterproof, and uh, they are more affordable than the DeWalt. So these are the radios I decided to purchase. I have my radios set to channel 18. And what I did to conduct the test was simply to give one radio to my wife here at home and uh, just walk, getting further and further away from the house and see uh, at regular intervals if we still had communication. 
Here is a graph of the distance I covered with the uh, variations in altitude. As you can see, uh, there were some obstacles along the way, hills and uh, there are some trees around here. It's mostly farmland, prairies. Uh, despite that, we got uh, clear communications all the way until I decided to turn around. Out of five, I would say uh, my reception uh, was probably a good uh, solid four and my wife was reporting between three and four as well with some variations, a little bit of interference. But uh, I didn't expect these radios to perform that well. So it's a good surprise and um, it's good to know that uh, within a reasonable range and without necessarily being a line of sight, uh, you can still get some uh, clear communication. Personally, I bought these radios because, uh, well, obviously I like uh, producing videos and uh, taking photos and uh, I'm often uh, wandering around camp or around the van to uh, explore and uh, catch some wildlife, or some uh, sunrise, sunset. And I wanted to stay in uh, communication with my wife at camp. So I think these radios will, de will do the job nicely. Uh, they're light, they're uh, easy to clip to your belt and uh, they perform quite well. So I would definitely recommend them and uh, at least consider them if you're looking for something similar. But remember to always be careful uh, what you transmit on the air. I hope this uh, video was uh, helpful to you and uh, gave you a better idea of what to expect from these uh, Retevis radios. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.